It's very much a temple of football, the Santiago Bernabeu, right here on the Spanish capital, Madrid. I'm Derek Ray, getting ready to bring you all the action, accompanied by my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And the tension is palpable because we've reached the semi-final stage of the UEFA Women's Champions League. This, the first leg. It's Real Madrid facing Manchester City. This should be a great tactical battle. Which team is going to have the courage to try and win the game and which team will be fearful of losing? The game plan of each coach will certainly be key today, Derek. And the lineup for the home side. Well, it's a 4 3 3 with two out and out wingers, but they do vary their movement. They give width, but they also make diagonal runs in field when the ball's on the opposite flank. Their performances will be key today. Introducing the starting players from Manchester City. Well, in this shape, if they're wide players, stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated and it could be difficult for them. And so the match is underway. Atenia. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Khadija Shaw. And Hasegawa. On the offensive. A well, disappointing end to the move. Esther Gonzalez. Casparay. Well read to ease the pressure. Oh, moving it nicely. It's got to be! Oh, really commanding goalkeeping. They take it short. And space available inside. Nicely timed tackle. Weir. a go and there it is the first goal in the semi-final a huge moment extraordinary scenes well here it is again and all credit to the goal scorer but you have to ask questions of the keeper she's got to have that covered for me no wonder she's frustrated with herself So underway once more, Manchester City with the advantage. Claudia Sornosa. Atenia. 
Over the touchline for a throw in. Ivana Andres. Here's Robles. Promising sequence. Top class defending. Hemp. Filipa Angeldahl. Happy just to retain the ball in their own half and draw out the opposition. Claudia Sornosa. Here's Weir. Carmona. Oh, that's an interesting pass. Not to be this time. This could be the equaliser. And it is the equaliser. Well, now, that could be a huge turning point in this game. They carry the momentum. Well, here it is again, and you can't lose possession in those areas. She must be more aware of the danger there. That's not good play at all. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Khadija Shaw. Here's Hasegawa. And the emphasis is on creativity. Angledahl. Oh, that's a pass of high quality. And a harmless cross gobbled up. And the first half is in the history books here at the Bernabeu. Into the second half then, here at the Bernabeu. They might be able to get in now. In position here to protect the ball. Now who can she pass it to? Who's going to win this joust? In position. Oh, blocked it! So following the deflection, a corner kick coming up here. Trying to pick out a teammate, and you need your defender to take charge. Esther Gonzalez. Not much defensive cover there on the flank. It needs an accurate cross. And disappointing for the players of the centre that it didn't reach them. Cuts in from the flank. Determined block. Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. And short it is. Caroline Weir. Oh, she's made a crucial tackle there. Gonzalez moving into the advanced position, but timely defending when it mattered. On she goes in possession. Can she pick the right option? Can they nudge in front? 
Oh, fine stop. And teammates around her. She fancies the shot. Can they put it away? And problem solved for now. Well, nothing comes of it. Well, what a final few minutes we have here. And the fans are certainly playing their part. But can they take one of these chances that come their way and win this game? On the attack, as there to be late excitement. Oh, big chance! Kerstin Kasparay. No way through. And time is of the essence. Corner awarded to Manchester City. And a substitution in the offing. And now the delivery. And strong play here. And there's the final whistle. A thoroughly entertaining semi-final first leg. And I must say, Stuart, it bodes well for the return match. Yeah, fantastic first 90 minutes, wasn't it? Exactly what you want to see at this stage of the competition. Let's just hope they can replicate that in the reverse fixture.